Hey guys, Daddy Mike here back with another amazing product to show you. Today I have the Wavelink AX3000 Wi-Fi 6 Outdoor Access Point. Now don't let the name intimidate you. This is very, very simple to set up and to use. You may wonder, what is this for? Well, simply put, it's so you can get Wi-Fi at in your backyard like the far end of your backyard if you have a farm you can get Wi-Fi out in your your barn in a warehouse you use this to get Wi-Fi where you wouldn't normally be able to get it with your normal uh, Wi-Fi router it's dual band you can use either 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi it has active and passive PoE, which is power over Ethernet. If you don't know what that means, it's just simply, there's no separate power cord. It's powered through the Ethernet cable. It supports speeds up to 3,000 megabits per second. It has three modes. The mode that I will be using is the AP range extender. It's also a mesh router and can be used as a mesh extender. It is IP67 waterproof, can be used outdoors or indoors. And outdoors it has a range of up to three kilometers, which is close to two miles. It's like 1.9 mile distance, so that is awesome. So it's the Wavelink AX3000. So let's take this out of the box and see what you get and then I'm going to show you how easy this is to set up. So guys, right here is our beautiful Wavelink AX3000 by 6 Outdoor Access Point. You can see it's very, very clean looking, very self-contained. It has a reset button on the bottom. And it has your port for your Ethernet cable. And this is where you can mount it to a wall or you can mount it to a pole. It comes with this template to show you where to put your screws to mount. It comes with a Wavelink quick start guide. And this is instructions on how to set up your mesh device if you go that route to use that mode. And guys, it comes with this box of accessories which contains your ethernet cable, your power supply, your PoE switch. This is what sends power to your Wi-Fi extender. A couple of 3M sticky mounting pads if you want to mount it like that. And it comes with some screws and hardware and even comes with a wrench. And this goes on the bottom here with your, your Ethernet cable goes through to waterproof your cable so no water will get into your Wavelink AX3000. And guys, it also comes with these mounting straps. With these, you can mount the Wavelink AX3000 around a pole if you would like. So guys, this is everything you get with the Wavelink Wi-Fi 6 Outdoor Wi-Fi Extender. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to set this up. So guys, the Ethernet cable that you connect here to the Wavelink, you connect the other end to where it says PoE into this PoE switch. This other one, I'm just connecting right into my laptop into the Ethernet uh, input. So now I'm just going to turn the switch on on the PoE switch. You can see our lights are lit up. We have a green and a blue but now you just go to your Wi-Fi list and select the Wavelink AXA757. Click that, go to connect. So now it will take us to a screen. There we go. It will take you to this screen. Wavelink, see the world. Welcome to Wavelink. Please set up this device first. So you need to set it up like this first before you can use it as a Wi-Fi extender, but it's very simple. You can find your initial setup passwords in your quick start guide here, and then you can change your password later if you want. I recommend doing that. 
So in the Quick Start Guide, it shows your default password and it also shows your default parameters. And then on this page, you can set up your region, your time zone. Okay, I believe that's all we do for the initial setup. And I'm going to plug into my Wi-Fi router and then put this outside and see how far away from here I can get. See how far away I can walk and still receive Wi-Fi outside. So really the only thing different I'm going to do now is unplug my Ethernet cable from my laptop. And this I will plug into one of the spare Ethernet ports on my Wi-Fi router. And it should be ready to go. So guys, I have three extra ports on my Wi-Fi router. I just plugged my Ethernet cable right here into one of my spare Ethernet ports on my Wi-Fi router. Now we're going to route this outside. So we're going to see how it works. So guys, now we're going to hook up our weatherproof connection here. I'm going to slide this onto the cable. Okay, and this... This actually opens, so you can just put this around the cable like this. Okay, first, I'm going to put this on there like that. Go ahead and plug it in. Then we're going to screw this in. As a rubber seal. You can use your wrench that comes with it to tighten it up. Okay, now we're just going to slide this part on and tighten it. When you tighten it, it kind of clamps down onto your Ethernet cable to make a nice tight waterproof seal. That's really nice. All right, very nice. So guys, I have it set up here outside of my little cabin and I have it kind of a temporary setup just about five feet off the ground, but really you should have it higher than that to get the best reception. But I'm just going to test it out, see what I can get, how far I can go and still receive a signal from the Wavelink AX3000. So guys, I'm just near the access point. I'm uh, accessing the Wi-Fi right here and I'm going to check the speeds that I'm getting. So it shows that I am connected to the Wavelink AXA757. Okay, we're getting well over 100. We got 119 down, and it's going to be about 11 up. So, it's very fast. I have the 2.4 gigahertz connected. If I would connect to 5 gigahertz, I would be getting 200 uh, megabits per second and download. So, guys, I'm just going to walk over here where I normally can't pick up Wi-Fi from my little cabin. So we're just going to test it right here, see what we get. All right, guys, we're still getting well over 100, 117. The upload has maybe dropped slightly, very slightly. Let's just go over to these seats right here and check it. We're a pretty good distance away from from the cabin now. Okay, let's go ahead and test it now. Okay, guys, we're still getting 114, 115, 116. It has dropped very, very slightly. Only like one megabit. A. Still getting 116 down and 11 and a half up. So on we go, farther and farther away. I'm just going to go over here to the far, far corner of this tennis court. There we go, guys. This is how far away I am. I live way over there. Guys, I'm 
curious to test it right now. Okay, we're still getting very good, almost 90. The upload has dropped dramatically down to three, but that's still very usable. So guys, now I checked my distance. We are 1,056 feet away from the Wavelink access point. Let's check our speed. And we're still getting a very usable 63, 60, 72, 73, 73.8 down speed. Up is still five, five and a half almost. So guys, I am amazed. I'm really amazed how well this is working. So let's walk farther. So guys, now I checked my distance. We are 1,056 feet away from the Wavelink access point. Let's check our speed. And we're still getting a very usable 70 to 73.8 down speed, five and a half almost. So let's walk farther. We'll go all the way across this big baseball field. And we're really far away. So guys, right now we are 1,584 feet away from the Wavelink access. So let's check our speeds. So we're getting uh, one, about one and a half down, which is not bad this far away. 1.8, almost two, and upload of about a half of a megabit per second, okay. So guys, at over 1,500 feet away from the Wavelink access point, I can still surf the internet. So guys, I am very, very impressed by the Wavelink AX3000's performance. So impressed. I did not expect to be able to go 1,500 feet away from my Wi-Fi access point and still get Wi-Fi from this Wavelink AX3000. So guys, it obviously works very, very well and, I very, and I'm very, and i extremely impressed with the Wavelink AX3000. So guys, I highly recommend it, so please check it out.